Dales Navigator is quite an impressive beast okay it can do a huge amount the first thing that we're interested in when we come on here when we've got it all set up we just want to go to an advanced search and we want to go for, to search for leads that's going to bring up all these different types of filters that we can use many of which that we've just spoken about so for example years of the company years of experience uh, seniority level uh, the relationship and so on so I'm going to show you how to put this uh, together. In this case, Stephanie's based in Dublin, so we're going to target um, business owners and company directors based in the Dublin area. So a couple of things to start setting up this campaign. Relationship, let's start there. So firstly, we want second degree connections. And as you can see, straight away, we've got 1.5 million results just from bringing up second degree connections. So we're going to add in our titles. So if we go to titles, again, from our cheat sheet, I'm going to copy some of the different titles. We want them to be business owners or company directors, so they're going to be called CEO or partner or managing director or chief executive or owner or whatever it happens to be. So we're going to literally copy that and we're going to put it directly in here. Okay, so their current title, not their previous title. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to hit return and that's it. It's literally in there as you can see big long search queue okay years of experience we want them to be experienced obviously so we're going to put more than 10 years um, we're also going to say that we want them to be more than 10 years in their current position and we want them to be more than 10 years in their current company so now our results as you can see in the top right are starting to come down and we're down to 34,000 which is good so we've given the right sort of titles and so on so now let's have a look at company headcount so as you can see we can go right up to 10,000 but again we're looking to target business owners let's start with 1 to 10 let's see what that gives us okay so now we have 9,000 results so obviously we could add uh, 11 to 50 there but let's just start with 1 to 10 to make it uh, nice and simple right so now we need to work on geography. So I told you in this case, we want to target Dublin. So as you can see, Dublin, Ireland. So I'm just gonna put that in there for the moment. So that has just brought our results down significantly. So now it's down to 526. Just bear in mind that this is do doing what we call regional targeting. If you wanted to do postcode targeting, you literally just click in there, postcode or zip code, and you, you change it. And again, you can choose what country you want, you can choose within what distance you want, and then you can put in a list of postcodes or zip codes, just separated by commas in there, and hit go, and it will just do it for you. Okay, uh, let's go back to region. And um, if we were going after, say, a more regional area, let's say, for argument's sake, that we want to go after uh, Cambridgeshire, Okay, so for example, we can choose Cambridgeshire as an area, but we can also then select some of the other spots that are within Cambridgeshire. So we could put in South Cambridgeshire, we can put in East Cambridgeshire as well. Uh, and let me see if we can see any more. Cam you can see it brings up suggestions for me underneath. And then we want to make sure we're targeting the UK version rather than the US version. But again, you're going to make this appropriate for yourself. So those seem to be the key areas that we want to car target there. So we were targeting Cambridgeshire, that's exactly how we would do it. We don't need to tell it how far around it is or anything else like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove those uh, for the moment. Obviously options to exclude there. It's not letting me remove those. Uh, there we go, now I can remove it. Remove. Okay, so back to Dublin, because this is what we're looking to target, and obviously Stephanie's based in Dublin, so she's got her network's gonna be much stronger there. Okay, so we've got second degree connections based in Dublin. We, 526 results. We've put in the different titles. We only want to be one to 10 in the head count. Maybe we'll increase the head count and we'll go to 11 to 50 as well, just to see if we can change that result. Okay, you gotta be quite clever about refining your searches. And so, for example, you can play around with how many years people were there at certain companies. You can play around with the head count. 
you can play around with whether it's second or third degree connections to try and get the results to the right kind of level. So just to show you, if I remove more than 10 years there, now we've got 2,447 results. That's gonna to be too many. It, like we, it, it will run the search, but will actually only give me 1,000 to work off. So we're gonna be losing about 1,400 results there. So we don't want that. So we wanna be a bit smarter about it. Let me just put that back in more than 10 years. So that's almost a thousand. So I'm happy enough to, to roll with that. And remember, this is second degree connections. We haven't done third degree connections yet. And it's one to 10 and 11 to 50. What I could do is I could remove 11 to 50 and I could go with these 526. And then my next search, I could uh, remove one to 10 and just go with 11 to 50. And so that would be two searches to sort of start us off. In fact, maybe we'll do it that way. So let's just hit search. Yep, yeah, so there's 526 results coming up with different founders and managing directors and so on in the location that we're looking to target.